hi welcome back to another video where we'll be talking about react so today's topic is react versus redux so we all know what redux is used for basically people use Re redux for like because it has a greater advantage and like predictability becomes very easy like we can predict when our states happen and like maintainability is also good there and like we can easily test our code and whether when it, we have to debug anything like that but people i have seen like many developers out there who call themselves like good developers or whatever they want to call themselves i have seen like they they will be using like redux for everything even for a simple app they will be overkilling it by using redux they don't know the difference between re redux and normal state they just know that they have learned redux so they will use it in every single thing they come across so now the question comes when to use redux first so first of all you need to tell yourself or decide like what kind of app you are making whether it is a small or medium sized or a large or complex one so if it fits in the small or medium go for state for your containers and later on if you aren't able to manage your state then you should go for redux not immediately you should jump to redux and if it a very and if you know that it is a very large complicated app then you can go for redux from the inception only now when you are actually going for redux now there are some points that you need to like answer or like check like uh, like when you are uh, using state the state and props then you are only concerned with that component and its child components but when you are using redux you need to think like do other parts of the application care about the state or the data which you are using in this component that is one thing the next point is that you need to uh, see that uh, like whether this data is getting derived or like uh, getting converted into another data from here and used in another component those things so that is another point and like one more thing is like uh, whether like uh, data like notes data whether it is necessary for rendering other components also that is also one important thing that you need to keep in mind and like there is something like when you are going uh, in different pages and when you are navigating back and when you are navigating back do you really need that previous data or something like that then redux comes to play also and redux is also very handy for like the the next point we can say is that whether you need to cache your data then you can use redux because if you are using state then you will be re requesting your data that is not a good thing to do so for caching you can use redux and like uh, finally like i will be also telling um, there are some things like what are the types of state like people don't know these things also like i will be telling you uh, there are three types of state first is the local ui state that only is concerned with that component second is a persistent state and the next one is the client state for local ui state like uh, like we are showing some uh, backdrop or model that is only concerned with that component so mostly these things can should be handled by your that state only but if you can if you want to use redux you can but that will be an overkill your so you should not go for redux in for local ui state or like re for reloading you are using a flag don't do that for redux okay do with state the next one is uh, like you have a, you are having a persistent state that is like all users like data all post you are you are showing something like that so mostly it is stored in server but like some things are like uh, id of the user it can be stored in redux so not everything is stored in redux for the persistent state mostly it is stored in our database so and some of the slices like some key informations that can be stored in redux okay and the final one is our client state our client state is basically is like what are the filters we are showing like uh, we are selecting some filters we are checking is the user is authenticated or not because these things you should manage by redux because what happens is like that uh, suppose you are checking whether a user is authenticated or not and depending on that authenticated state you are showing some other uh, pages and some pages you are restricting if the user is not authenticated so some things like that and you are whether when you are filtering that things need to be saved like when you go from one page to another depending on that filter or other data are shown so these are the things that you need to keep in mind before directly jumping into redux so take a step back do some analysis and then go for redux or state whatever you want and if you find this video informative please do share it share with some developers that you that you think they know but they don't 
so share with them uh, throw some light at them and please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching it